channel on YouTube. So today is going to be my last time in a military uniform. And I've got to admit, it's been quite the past five years, but I just want to show you something. I have that American flag behind my chair because that's something that I pledge to defend for the past five years. And whenever I feel like being lazy, whenever I feel like not giving my 100%, I'll turn right around and that one flag gives me one word, hope. So I'll let you know a little bit about this journey as we go on, but I just want to let you know about five powerful things that the military taught me. So let's get on the road, let's sign out, and yeah, let's wrap up this rewarding experience. So guys, I think the, thir the first lesson Figuring that I've learned is just something that's going to care with me for the rest of my life and is unparalleled to anything that I've ever experienced. So, I wasn't anything flashy, I've never been deployed. I was in infantry or armor, but I had a very unique job and that was a logistician. Making sure that all the big tanks and weapons functioned and got all the supplies that they needed. Had to be very resourceful and everything that I've ever learned in my army job required a process and how good or bad that failed depending on how well I can optimize that process and I can carry that over to life. I used to look at long-term goals as things that were in, impossible because I would look at it from the 30,000 feet and just look straight down and just be like, this is too much of a daunting task. But me uh, tapping into my logistician experience, I just learned that everything has a process and that you need to make the mistakes, you need to make the jump and then you need to gather that info and then optimize your processes and then that translates into better short-term goals which feeds into the long-term goals and I'll carry that with me for the rest of my life that's more than its weight in gold right there so process optimization 101 very very powerful tool guys we are here and I'm about to go collect my paperwork but I guess I'll just kind of lead into my second point here and that is self-development huge lesson that the army taught me and that I'm going to carry into life so in the army especially as a young officer they tell you don't stop getting better at your craft don't stop learning don't stop reading learn everything you can and I'm going to carry that into life because not just as a logistician but Rarely, if ever in life, are you ever going to counter somebody that's already skilled. I think that a lot of people get looked down upon when they kind of just know everything. So, whatever your craft is, whatever your career is, don't stop learning. We live in the age of Web3 in the internet where, in, where information and self-development is just at the palm of your fingertips. And I firmly believe the more that you learn, the more mistakes that you make, it'll help you optimize your processes, which I stated previously. And it'll just make you a better, well-rounded person, and it can help you take bigger risks, make least mistakes, look upon highly as a leader, because I think part of being a leader is recognizing that you have shortfalls. and it, It's okay to not be good at something at your first time around, but are you just going to stay stagnant, or are you going to do the research and just get better? What's going on? So, I just went inside to go sign out on what's called terminal leave, which is my final pay time off to get me where I'm going to next in Houston. And I got what's called my DD-214, and basically that is my document telling me that I am a veteran, what I'm entitled to, how much service time I've been accumulated, and uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. I'm, I'm done. I am officially done being a soldier of the United States Army. What a great five years it's been. Which leads me to my next lesson, and that is uh, accountability. So as a platoon leader, they basically told me I was responsible for everything that your platoon accomplishes or fails to do. And that's going to be key for the rest of my life. So it is, everybody's very 
everything's perfect when everything's good, when times are going well, when money's coming in, when your goals are just being accomplished at rapid pace. But who are you going to be when things aren't going so well, when you're in a period of turmoil? Are you going to just be sour? Or are you going to continue to blame other people? Or are you going to take accountability for those compounded failures that will eventually lead you to success? But everybody has to fail a few times. And I firmly believe putting the blame on other people is never going to make your situation better. So I'll take that as another lesson for the rest of my life. So let's go home. Had to go run some errands, but we're back, and yeah, we're gonna do the same thing that I've always been doing. Just because I'm not in the military doesn't mean I'm gonna stop working out. So we're about to head to the gym. But first, I'll just drop my next lesson: experience will be your greatest teacher, bar none. You, but there's a lot of people try to use a lot of predictive models or gurus or software technology to kind of dictate. Hey, I shouldn't try this because of this result. It's going to lead to this result. But you never know unless you try. There's a saying in the military that you make a plan and no plan survives first contact. That means that the result you probably think is going to happen probably isn't going to happen. And that's a good thing because you can always re you know, readjust and mistakes lead to progress always. So when in doubt, try because you never know where it's going to lead you. So on the pre-workout side of the house, we have... One scoop of a uh, BPN flight, and uh, that's it. Because I had a pretty hard track workout yesterday, we're gonna go strict train. And at the time of this video, I'll be doing CrossFit 22.1 on Saturday, so I gotta stay a little bit fresh for that. But we're gonna go do some functional upper body movements. See you at the gym. Every time you two are getting rough, my mind just sounds like shy of love, but it says no, 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 no. Just no, 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 no And every time I see him with you My heart sounds like Shia LaBeouf Do no, 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 no No, 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 no guys we just got done at the gym now I'm back in the car about to drive home but I think the last lesson that I've learned here is that you got to be consistent and I've heard this a million different ways from a lot of books and even the supplement company that I'm an ambassador for they stand behind this statement but my twist on it is that you need to do the small habits over and over and over again that you know isn't going to be and it's to return right right away, but if that's what you're in life for, nothing comes instant. No professional that's a master of his craft has ever gotten been an instant hit, instant success, whatever you want to name it, but you just got to keep showing up. And that's just not just in, in your career, that's just in, in your personal life as well. When turmoil comes, you just got to find ways to be consistently happy, you have to find ways to consistently energize the people around you. And then that's just on the other token as as well. You can unfortunately be consistent in a negative habit, such as being lazy, being pessimistic. But you can't be that way. You got to consistently show up for the good, not only of yourself but for other people. And uh, yeah, guys, I, I I look forward to this journey. But for my faith-based people out there, trust God. I know anybody transitioning, it it, it can be kind of scary. But it says in the book of Ephesians that a person is going to fail many times, but they're going to get right back up each time. And with every mistake comes strength. So I look forward to letting you know a little bit more about me. And yeah, guys, that's what the military taught me. Let me know in the comments what the military taught you. Like and subscribe and have an amazing rest of your day.